Okay, I know you're looking, and you're saying to yourself, something is definitely different about this guy. Let me save you a little bit of time. It's true. I did lose weight. Hey, how you, hey, how you, hey, how you, hey, how you, hey, how you doing? I'm glad you tuned in. Current events, movies, and music for your families and friends. Disaster Peace Theater is the name of the show. So without further ado, here we go. How you guys doing today? It's me, Disaster, on a frosty January 7th. Unfortunately, in Ohio, where I live, apparently there's going to be a whole shitload of snow. Lovely. Because as you know, we as Ohioans love, love, love the snow. Which is unfortunate, because tuberculosis is coming back this year. Yay! This infectious disease is coming back full strength. The Warhead strain is extremely drug resistant. For those of you who want to live, pfft, I'd call it a day if you get TB. Great. Another infectious disease that we have to worry about. As if I wasn't worried about catching HIV or AIDS, malaria, diarrhea, which you can get from eating a number four and five at Taco Bell, measles, whooping cough, tetanus, meningitis, syphilis, which is always fun, and a host of others. Why can't we get rid of these damn diseases? It's 2010, should we have some sort of super vaccine or something? I figure you can cure syphilis with a cold soda and some crackers. Maybe some Skittles and a hot ham and cheese sandwich. I wanted to update one of the stories that I did previously on my last video. It seems as if the terrorists do not win. Three of the Al-Qaeda terrorists that were making threats to the embassy in Yemen have been killed. Yay! Good job, guys. I'm so happy. Not because people were killed, but because we stood up for what we believe in. Right. A lot of rumors are flying around about Simon leaving American Idol. But on TMZ.com, my clone Randy Jackson went on to say that that's probably not going to happen. He's probably not going to be replaced. Randy also went on to say, not good, dog. Not good at all, dog. It's the new year, dog. Not good at all, dog. Person I can give a shit less American Guy Idol goes on for another 35 seasons. Because now everybody in their grandma thinks they can sing. And the most talented people never seem to win anyway. Except for that Susan Boyle beast. I wouldn't fuck Susan Boyle if they had a hypodermic needle filled with Clorox bleach stuck in my neck and was about to push it like in Terminator 2 when Sarah was trying to get out of the fucking crazy hospital. That is one ugly manly bitch. If you're looking for the missing link, I would check in her genus. It's probably there. I'm from Ohio, Cleveland to be exact. A place where we haven't seen a win from our football or basketball team in forever. We have a decent wide receiver, Josh Cribbs. And you want to know how much they offered him? About as much as they would have offered me to go play for the Browns. That's a shame. I do a 4-3 in 16 minutes, two days, to the kitchen to get a hoagie. Ooh, you're going to have to get somebody else for all this running shit. Cribbs says he's in... Cripp says he's insulted by the amount of money that they offered him to stay in Cleveland. Cripp's agent said he'll be cleaning out his locker. Shit, I would too. If they don't pay like you weigh, then you can't stay. The last story I want to talk to you guys about, I'm all for keeping clean and everything, but in this last story, a guy is accused of putting his daughter in the dryer. Hopefully he didn't have her in the washer before that, but he is accused of putting her in the dryer and turning it on. If there was ever a reason in life to shoot a man in the crotch, this would be it. This goes beyond domestic violence, abuse of any kind that you can think of. She's a little girl and you're putting her in a dryer. Something she's going to have to use for the rest of her life. That's not funny. <laughs> Steve McLaren's seven-year-old daughter has a condition that does not allow her to grow properly. So he thought it would be funny to throw her in a dryer because she fits. He said, shit, it worked when the Elmo dog got served all over it. Some people are just fucking idiots. That's about all I found interesting today, guys. I wanted to keep it short and sweet for you. I'll see you again here soon. My name is Disaster, and this has been Disaster Peace Theater. Thank you.